All right, what's going on guys? We are here. Uh, I just thought I'd give you guys a little video on like kind of how to do snowball fighting uh, in a kind of decent way, where some snow locations are, and also how to catch some crystal bird bots since you need snow to do that. So we're gonna go ahead and start off in Lone Star. Now there's no actual snow locations here, but in my opinion this is kind of the best place to do the snowball fighting. <clears throat> and I'll explain why a little bit more as we get in here. Alright, we're just going to hop in here. Now, I'm not going to really be collecting presents. I'm not going to worry about the gingerbread uh, challenge or the coin challenge. Since that doesn't really have much to do with this. Uh, so, first thing we want to do is open up the menu. Go to your inventory. Go to where you sh it shows your person. Uh, and then go over to ground baits. We'll go ahead and equip some snow. Mix some up. Now, I only need a couple left, so I'll probably end up getting the challenge before we actually I'll show you a little bit more yeah there's five people here we'll see we will see sometimes you gotta wait a little while for it to kind of pack the snow up or whatever um, if you don't have a slingshot it's fine but basically you're gonna come over here I like to stand uh, about this distance I'd say and I don't know about with your hand if you have a snowball packed in your hand but especially with a slingshot it kind of wants to veer to the right when you launch it so I like to stand what is pr probably about I don't know 10 feet back or so uh, aim a little bit more to the left and then kind of just give it a tap and look at that I know for sure I hit him uh, so that's that's good there let's go ahead and see if we can get some more hits over here now you guys might not have the challenge uh, if that's the case you just kinda gotta hit somebody with a snowball for the first time it'll pop up once you hit somebody with it it's called snow fighter hit a hundred players with snowballs you get a snowman rod stand which we should get while we're here but the same thing there stand a little ways back aim to the left it's a little bit harder when they're standing a little bit sideways like that and also if they're like on a slope or something you kind of mess around with it a little bit but kind of got the gist of it I think at this point there's two more should just need one more I think let's see if this guy's gonna cooperate or if he's always oh, gonna try to hit some people with snowballs too <laughs> you know what I'm not even gonna bother waiting for him uh, the main reason why I like this area the most for snowball fighting is because so many people come here. You can open up the menu, go down to rooms here, you know, click over to the right, open up a new friends only room, and it will take you there without like ruining your snowballs. If you leave the area, it's going to take your snowballs away, so you got to kind of be mindful of that, but you can just go over, go back into a random room. And it'll most likely put you into a different lobby. Just because there's so many people here. This is the very starter area. 
Uh, that's why I say that I think this area is the best for doing the snowball fighting. Even though there's no snow here, I would come here pretty often to get some snowball hits in. Now, I do think the uh, slingshot takes less snow than if you put it in your hand, so the slingshot's nice to have for this. But yeah, you just give it a quick little tap, and look, I think I missed that one. And there it is, Rod Stan the Snowman. So that's pretty cool to have. I saw somebody with that uh, some somewhere in the summertime, I believe. You know what, since we're standing right here, I'm kind of curious. Yeah, we can collect a present. Alright, so that's going to be it for the snowball fighting. Wish you guys luck. It's not exactly easy to do. You need to have quite a bit of snow, but like I said, the slingshot, I think, takes less snow per shot than if you were using your hand. I'm leaving the area. I'm going to lose the leftover snow, but I got the snowball fighter, so there's kind of no reason not to, honestly. <clears throat> now, I think there's only four locations that you can actually go to get snow. Uh, one of them is Rocky Lake. One of them's Falcon Lake, another one's Kanik Creek, and then the last one would be uh, White Moose Lake. There might be others, but I don't think so. I mean, if you know of others, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, we're going to go ahead and run over to Rocky Lake. I'll show you guys the actual locations. Go ahead and pick them up while I'm there. Uh, and as we go around, we'll make our way to White Moose Lake and catch some Crystal Burbot. So this one is pretty easy, you just basically spawn in the first area that they have highlighted in the fantastic fishing. And then right when you load in, it'll be just right in front of you. We'll leave this area. There is a present there at the other end of the area. I'm honestly not too worried about grabbing it right now. If I want to, I'll go back and grab it off camera. But this is supposed to be basically for the snowball fighting tips, uh, just collecting snow in the certain areas, and then catching crystal burbot. So that's what I'm going to focus on. I did grab that last present, but it's just because it was so convenient. We were standing right next to it when we were done. <laughs> So we're going to go to Falcon Lake. And here, I like to spawn in at this location closest to the little waterfall that they have, uh, Waterfall Cascade. What's going on here? Alright. Then you just turn around, the snow piles are right here. Go ahead and go to the next location. Creek.
Now, I think I heard someone say that you can actually catch the Crystal Burbot here also, but I don't know. I've got a pretty good spot set up at White Moose Lake, and I've been catching the antlered salmon and the uh, furry trout there. I actually have other videos for that. I'm not going to be doing it in this video. But if you go to Hunter's Cabin, there's a Christmas present there behind the cabin uh, in case you guys are interested. But we are going to go to Taming the Kanik. This area is quite a bit bigger, so it's a little bit more tricky to find the the snow location. But, I mean, if you spawn in to this location, it's pretty noticeable once you turn around. It's just way over there. And there's that. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll leave here. So, I'll kind of go over the equipment really quick that I'm using for the uh, Crystal Burbot. I'm kind of curious what level the reel that I'm using unlocks that is kind of the main reason I want to go over it in the overworld <clears throat> so we're using the bottom sniper 9 foot 10 it's a level 30 unlock it's like the first one that you can actually unlock uh, and we're using the Aspira double punch 6500 uh, we'll just check bottom rods really quick bottom rods are probably the best thing to use here I mean you have to have the of uh, some sort of feeder and I think these are the only rods that use feeders I could be wrong about that but as you see this is a oh I guess it's a level 34 unlock uh, you can technically probably use the bottom sniper 10 foot 10 if you want to spend 200 coins on that I don't really advise spending coins on rods uh, I prefer to save my coins for advanced licenses and some certain baits uh, but that is for that let's check out the reels and we are looking for the spear slim which one were we looking for? the spear double punch 6500 so that's a level 37 unlock uh, now you, you could probably do what the rod was a level 34 or something like that level 34 so I mean if you really wanted to you can go with something a little bit like a level 34 reel to go along with that uh, let's see what they have for level 34 reels I mean this Hornet Swarm 6000 would be perfectly fine there's no reason you couldn't use that you might need to use a little bit lower uh, line weight which I've been using floral lines I don't really think it matters too much but I've been using the 28 pound uh, test line for the floral now you're gonna want number four catfish hooks I'm using a barbless hook just because it gets you a little bit more XP uh, I'm using a low capacity two and three quarter ounce open feeder. Now I try to use the lowest capacity open feeder I could possibly find, mainly because like you got to catch 150 of these things, the crystal burbot, and I mean I had to go with a two and a half ounce rather than something smaller. Like I tried the two ounce, but it wasn't enough weight to be able to cast appropriately so I went with the two and three quarter ounce low capacity um, open feeder 
you could just as easily go with a closed feeder it doesn't matter too much but around two and three quarters is what you need for the setup that I'm using you can, you're welcome to use a higher <clears throat> like a higher tier equipment but it's gonna take more snow the bigger the feeder is it's just something to keep in mind um, I'm not positive we need and a liter but I'm using a fluoro carbon liter just to kind of go with the fluoro line uh, 28 pound test just kind of keep it even with the setup and then I'm using medium cut bait for the bait uh, I, from what I've heard it sounds like you're just more apt to catch only burbot and not a bunch of the other fish with the medium cut bait so that's kind of what I've decided to go ahead and use as you can see I've got five different setups of the same thing uh, and that's what I've been using it's been going pretty well considering uh, it's actually going quite a bit faster than I thought it would at first it was going slower now it's going faster it's, it's kind of interesting but we're gonna go ahead and go to White Moose Lake Alright, now our last snow location, I mean there's only two places to spawn here, they're pretty close to each other, but our last snow location we're going to start off at the dam road. It's just basically a straight line to the docks and it's kind of halfway in between the dock and uh, this location. It was just a little bit more convenient than having to run away from where you're fishing at. Yeah, I guess it might be technically a little bit closer to the dock than here. But you can kind of see it in the bushes right there. That's the last snow location that I know of. Uh, we'll go ahead and run over here to the dock. Now, I don't think the time matters too much as far as catching these guys. Uh, I tried it kind of like, you know, right at the beginning of daytime here. I also tried it at night, which I was getting quite a few catches at night. So, it's, it, it, I don't think it really matters. We'll see how it goes here during the daytime again. Uh, I started out at 120 feet, but I think 100 feet is a little bit better. I think that kind of might have been the main difference between when I was fishing in the daytime and when I was fishing at night. It just seemed like I was catching a little bit more at night, but once again, I was I was doing 120 feet in the daytime and 100 feet at nighttime. Uh, we'll kind of see a little bit more right now that's a little bit too far I think oh, okay I thought it was gonna be a bad cast but yeah I like to just get it down to a hundred feet clip the line so I don't really have to worry too much about it oh you know what I'm messing up right now let's reel these back in the whole reason for having these rods with open feeder was to put snow in the feeders because you have to have snow in the feeders in order to catch these guys you don't have to light off any fireworks but you have to have snow in the feeder and I just totally spaced that off so instead of going to your person, you just want to go to one of the rods that you want to equip it on. Go down to one of your snow packs and mix that up.
and it's just going to automatically put one in that feeder but you're going to want to go back up to the top of your ground bait section and equip snowballs and all your other rods that you're using now I like this spot pretty well um, I was trying to cast out kind of right in the middle of the lake over there but I don't know I watched a video of Super Dave and uh, he was kind of suggesting this spot and I tried it out and this spot seems to work pretty dang well so we're just gonna cast these back out it shouldn't take too long you will catch some regular bur burbot it's not a big deal like I said if you're using a low capacity feeder I mean you're getting like basically three casts per pound or per ounce and you start out with 40 ounces so it's really not that bad I caught uh, 30 of these guys on one snowpack and I didn't even go through the whole snowpack I still had like seven ounces or something like that left uh, I ended up deciding to leave the area just because I anticipated kind of making this video and I didn't feel like finishing off the last of the um, five seven ounces whatever it might have been not feel like it's probably a crystal. This one feels like it might be a crystal. Either that or it's a trophy regular bird bot. Yeah, it's just a trophy. So that was three regular bird bot. Um, usually you don't go through many more than that without getting a crystal. So I'm expecting the next set of fish that we get here to be a crystal. At least one of them. I don't, I don't know. You know, three rods can go off and one of them could end up being a crystal. But I'd be surprised if we don't get at least one out of the next three.
already starting to wonder if nighttime might be a little bit better for this because I, I was getting two to three back to back at nighttime. do got to be a little bit patient it started off kind of slow I think I think because it is the daytime I really do get the feeling that uh, these guys might be better to catch at night thought that was too soon this one feels like it'll probably be a crystal or it could be another trophy it's just a regular one again it's a trophy but just a regular trophy. Alright, I said one out of the next three, so <laughs> this better be a crystal or it's going to prove me wrong. There it is. Okay. Well, yeah, that about does it. Um, you guys can mess around here, check out if it's working more for in the daytime for you, or it might work more at night. You just uh, something you might want to mess around with. Right now, I'm gonna say you probably want to do nighttime, but you know. It kind of depends on how bad you want to fill your net if you have a really large uh, keep net like I do. If you have a really low keep net, you might want to go nighttime and that way you can just do free fast forwards to, you know, the next night and have a uh, easier time with the fast forwards. Let me go set, go ahead and see if we can catch one more. I might uh If this isn't a crystal then I might go ahead and fast forward to nighttime just to show you guys. No, oh, it is another crystal. Alright. Well that's two in the row at least. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of a tutorial on how to do the snowball fighting, you know, where to collect snow, and how to get these uh, crystal bird bots. So, let's go ahead and see what this is. I don't think this is going to be a crystal. Could be. Nope. Alright, well that's it for me. Thanks you thank you guys for watching. Um if this video helped you, please feel free to like and subscribe. If you wouldn't mind, it'd probably help me out. Anyway, uh, I'll catch you guys later. Have a ha merry happy new year and all that stuff. Peace out.